This is Neil McNeil, and thanks for checking out this Fox 8 News Web Extra featuring more of my recent newsmaker interview with Wake Forest University law professor Mark Hall, nationally recognized as a leading expert in health care law and policy, as well as the recently passed health care reform legislation. Over the next few minutes, he and I will talk about what the legislation fundamentally changes, who will have to pay more and why, the business impact, the legislation's future, and the biggest misconception people have about it. What is the underlying dynamic of this legislation? What does it fundamentally change? The most fundamental change is to guarantee that people can get insurance regardless of their health conditions. Uh, small businesses, those who may not have been able to afford insurance in the past, will get a government subsidy or tax credit. Uh, again, is the thought here that if more people insured are in the pool, the cost will go down for everyone? Exactly, and, and also the thought is it's the small employers that have the hardest time providing this coverage. So the, the bill does three things with employers. The smallest employers, those with 25 or fewer, actually get a subsidy or tax credit to help them uh, purchase. Uh, employers from 25 to 50 are basically left alone. They can cover or not cover, it's up to them. For employers with more than 50 employees, uh, they're basically uh, expected to cover their employees. They're not required to, but if they don't, they have to pay a, a tax. For those covered under group policies at work, I believe you have said their premiums will rise. Why will that happen? A big change this law makes uh, to keep insurance affordable for everyone is to reduce the amount that prices can uh, vary according to age. Just like with life insurance, you know, your risk to the insurer depends on, on your general age. And those prices have varied as high as uh, sixfold or sevenfold from the 20 year olds to the 60 year olds and that means it's unaffordable for the 60 year olds so uh, the law says that the prices can vary only by a factor of three um, uh, those uh, 60 year olds can only be charged three times as much as 20 year olds which right. means that you lower the prices for the uh, 60 year olds but you have to increase the prices somewhat for the 20 year olds right. what about the 30 states interested in blocking the legislation North Carolina is not one of them but what are their chances of success uh, uh, little to none really why this law does very little uh, to impact states rights it, it, it gives states complete flexibility or freedom to not set up a high-risk pool to not set up a, an exchange uh, to really uh, to not even take the Medicaid money if they want. So they, like some states, threaten to not take the bailout money. The states who don't want to participate don't have to. What do you think is the biggest misconception people out there have about this legislation, if there is a big misconception? Uh, the fear that somehow this is going to basically jump in between me and my doctor and alter how I get care is the biggest misconception. It does nothing of the sort. In fact, it, it only helps you keep the doctor you have and continue to get the care you need.